like this one, when you want to get rid of an entire person from an image seamless, seamlessly, and let's zoom in here on the image, then you want to use a, a comp an entirely different tool because you got multiple transitions and you're never going to get a source that matches everything. It's just going to end up all blurry or not matching the texture at all. So you're going to have to do some really nice work with the clone stamp tool, which allows you to sample from an image by again alt clicking and then simply painting that selection in. Now we're going to have to jump to new layer, control J, or you can just alt drag or you can drag it down here to new layer which should be something like right there Oops. and that'll jump it too and then control shift R to rasterize or rasterize layer okay now we've got set up you wanna alt click on an area with a similar texture to what you think will be behind this so that'll be right here you want it really texturized and stuff and make sure it's got a similar plane so something might have a similar texture but not match the angle of what you want and then you just start painting in you want to make multiple clicks but don't don't use the same sample point too often too much you want to resample from elsewhere make sure you have the luminosity the same because this one won't correct for luminosity it won't and just keep sampling in different areas and clicking don't really drag because when you drag it'll follow where you had before it will automatically align itself to the other selection and drag according to that it won't just repeat your selection over and over again just keep sampling in different areas and dragging over make sure the luminosity fits so you can't like have here and just go here because that won't fit and I'm control alt z to go back in history and now at transitions you want to take a transition very near to it I mean you could work with shapes and get it to match pretty good but I'm just gonna use place near to it and just drag click it over and over and you're gonna have to use it several times in this one and now just f clean it up clean the rest of it up left bracket to make the brush smaller and let's just fix this because it's not entirely seamless you can see that let's right back and make our brush bigger and let's just alt click and let's click around here because this can get a bit blurry if you're using a blurry brush but you don't want to use a soft brush because then you're not going to get soft transitions and it's not going to look right. And I'm using shift right bracket to make it big, less, so less soft and more soft depending on left bracket or right bracket. And let's just get this matching. It's getting a little fuzzy down here. take a while to get perfectly seamless but you have to work at it you have to expect it for it to take a while well once you got a pretty good match which right there is pretty good I'm not gonna make it perfect I would really work at this but Let's actually just alt sample from here. Just get rid of these blurry parts that were at the edge of my sample before.
Hmm. And then another technique is to go over what you just did with try going over it with the healing brush. I'm pressing J and just see what it comes up with. That time it didn't do too well. Check the uh, the that was the spot healing brush. Let's check the regular healing brush. It's doing pretty well now. This is another technique to sample a new area and just just to make it pretty seamless. That's the goal. That last one didn't do too well. So that's probably going to be good enough for now. There we go. That's going to be good enough for now. You can also try out the patch tool, which you can use the any of the marquee tools or the patch tool. Just drag out a selection from somewhere in the image. Actually, that's not what I want, right? there then using the patch tool just with your make sure it's set to source drag it out or oh, whoops that's not what you want set the destination so you just want to drag it somewhere and let's drag it right here and do the same thing correct for luminosity and all that and that's actually looking really nice let's check it Yep, that will look a lot better. Okay, now we got the legs done here. Let's quickly finish up the rest. Go back to the clone stamp tool by pressing S. And this you can just basically just drag out. And we'll start from the head again. Right bracket to make our brush bigger. And just slowly get away get to this guy. Let's zoom in a bit more once I get to this transition zone, which will be quite difficult. Okay, now let's sample over here, get real small. Let's see if we can fix it up. And try that over here too. And then just sample from somewhere similar slowly getting rid of it and now for the fence you're just gonna have to drag over fence material Just drag over some 
transition material right here fix up this part just get rid of his legs here and we're about done I'm not looking for perfectly seamless for this one but you can really work at it and get it to look dead perfect Just keep alt clicking and just drag over this. And just get rid of the last traces. And we're just about done. And let's try going over with the patch tool, actually. Again, just by pressing J. That's what I usually do, actually, because I memorize a lot of these keyboard shortcuts. Make sure it's set to destination. It's actually pretty good right there. And let's feather it a bit by hitting Control Alt D. Let's go 10 pixels. It'll help it to match better. Control D again. Let's try it right here. Let's see if that'll work. There we go. And that is basically seamless object removal using stamp patch tool, healing brush tool, spot healing brush tool, and the clone stamp tool in combination and separately with each other to get rid of objects seamlessly. See you guys.